Hey, I'm a fucking DJ! Yo, what's going on guys? I'm Brandon, aka Broken Ocean, and today I'm going to be showing you how to become a DJ. More specifically, how to become a successful DJ basically overnight. I mean, probably by the end of the video, maybe. Hopefully, uh, if all goes well. Um, but yeah, you know, there's very specific, exclusive uh, curriculum that I'm gonna be uh, sharing with you. You know, some uh, some exclusive little uh, secrets and tidbits of uh, information. And uh, you know, I'm gonna be sharing with you a couple steps that if you follow, um, you know, you should achieve. You know, overall, just you know, greatness and success. Uh, <laughs> being a DJ. So yeah, without further ado, let's get right into it. Um, so sit back, relax, and let's do it. Alright guys, so step one, most important step in becoming a successful DJ overnight, or maybe even by the end of the video, probably not, maybe, possibly, um, but yeah, step one, this is the foundation, you know, our founding fathers, you know, step one, I mean, alright, I'm just gonna shut up and tell you what it is, so step one, if you wanna become a DJ, you gotta make sure that it's actually cool, or is the, uh, the, the cool kids nowadays say lit or litty. Well, it's totally lit. So yeah, make sure that DJing is actually lit. Um, make sure that it's something that everybody's doing. You know, make sure all your friends are doing it. Your whole family, you know, your grandma, your grandpa, your cousins, your parents. <clears throat> I don't know. Your girlfriend, her boyfriend, your wife, you know, um, your wife's husband, whatever you want to call it. doesn't matter. Just make sure everyone's doing it because if they are, then... That means that you definitely should be doing it. Um, so if that's the case, then you may proceed to step number two. All right, guys. So step number two. So now that we've already concluded that DJing is actually lit, um, next thing you need to do is go out and buy yourself the most expensive controller you can find. Because the most expensive, or the, the more expensive your controller, or you know, uh, turntables, whatever you want to call them, uh, the more expensive the equipment that you own is, um, the the better you are automatically. So that's kind of like a little freebie, a little, uh, little hint, a little, you know, tidbit for you. Um, so yeah, basically what that means is that you should buy some CDJs, uh, right off the bat. Don't worry about, you know, buying a little controller to practice on, you know, cause like I said, once you buy those CDJs, you're going to be automatically professional and you know, nothing else, <laughs> nothing else even matters. You're going to be way ahead of everybody else. So, so yeah, if you don't have the money, I mean, they are expensive. They're like 10,000, 10,000 bucks for the whole setup. You need the two CDJs, a mixer, you know, um, you know, borrow, borrow your mom's credit card or maybe sell a kidney or something. But um, it's definitely, you know, a pretty important step. Um, so, yeah, step number three, another very important step in this curriculum here. Um, you need a baller fucking DJ name. Simple as that. So now I know sometimes picking a name can be a little difficult, um, but I'm going to break it down for you. It's, it's really quite simple. So there's a couple different uh, algorithms you could use. Um, you know, the first one, uh, the most basic, you know, you could just use your first, first and last name or your, you know, first, middle and last name. Um, you could use someone else's first, middle and last name. Um, you know, that, that works. Um, or, you know, the second option, um, you could use like, uh, you know, some math problems. So, uh, DJ three pi r squared, you know, something like that. Or, uh, DJ, uh, six X equals nine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <clears throat> or, um, you know, you could do like just a bunch of random numbers and, uh, letters and, you know, symbols. So, um, I don't know, DJ six dollar sign, dollar sign, hashtag, you know, exclamation mark, you know, uh, lit, you know, woke, I don't know, something like that. Or you can even do like, you know, you can look at random objects. So we got like a light bulb. We got an, an iPhone. Um, put the two together. Oh, DJ iBulb. I you know. Um, you could also take like the um, the Vaughn approach, which would be like, um, let's see. DJ, DJ Blender Von Wienerhausen or like uh, DJ Wiener Tugboat. I don't know, something like that. DJ Mustard Gas. There, there's a million different options, but those are like the basic kind of algorithms, you know? Um, 
So if you follow one of those, you know, you should be pretty good to go. Um, but like I said, you got to make sure that the name, you know, is just, you know, it's, it's legit because, you know, this is your brand, you know, your name is everything, you know? So, um, so yeah, that's, that's step number three. All right, guys. So step number four. So now we're going to start getting into more, uh, technical, technical aspects of DJing. Uh, so step number four is to, uh, simply you just use pre-recorded mixes. So, um, you know, obviously don't learn how to DJ. Why would you want to do that? You know, um, you, you got, you got big producers and DJs that, you know, record mixes and post them on the internet. And I mean, what, what do you think they're there for? You know, I know excision, he makes some fucking killer mixes, you know? So just, you know, go rip it off of YouTube, plug it into your controller. And then literally all you have to do is hit play. And then pretend you're doing stuff, you know, that's, doesn't get more simple than that. You know, why would you, why would you want to, like, why would you waste your time learning how to do it when, you know, someone else already did it and, you know, you just go up there that way and you don't have to worry about ever making mistakes. I mean, your mix is going to be flawless, you know, and, um, you know, you'll blow up. That's it, you know? All right. So step number five kind of ties into step number four a little bit. Uh, but step number five is to only use the sync button. <clears throat> so, um, you know, <laughs> I mean, it really doesn't get any uh, simpler than that. So, you know, don't waste your time learning how to beat match and actually DJ. You know, obviously you can use pre-recorded mixes. Um, but let's just say you do want to actually, you know, give it a try, you know, loading up some, you know, actual songs under there. Don't use headphones. Don't use any of that nonsense. Just hit the sync button, you know, and keep your fingers crossed, you know. Like I said, I would definitely highly recommend using pre-recorded mixes versus doing that. But if you didn't want to go that route, like I said, you know, that's what the sync button's there for. You know, you don't even got to listen to, you know, fuck the cues. Just sync and, I mean, you're good to go. As long as your beat grids are there. I mean, what's beat matching? I've never even, whoa, what? <laughs> the sync button. Yeah. They put it there for a reason now. So, All right, so before we move on, um, we'll do a little bit of a recap. So hopefully up until this point, everything has made sense. Try to keep it as simple and as straightforward as possible. Um, so obviously we talked about the equipment. Um, like I said, it's a myth um, that skill, you know, skill does not matter. Um, the only thing that matters and that is going to make you a better DJ no matter what um, is your equipment. So, um, you know, you take the dollar amount of your equipment and then that basically gives you your skill level um so like i said it doesn't matter how many years you've been doing it you know it just all that matters is your equipment so um we got that you know obviously you need a sick fucking dj name because that matters you know um and that's going to automatically you know the better your name you know the better you're going to be um it's just you know it's, it's a given um and then like i said you know basically djing is just playing pre-recorded mixes so um, you know, don't worry about practicing or beat matching or anything. Just, you know, steal someone else's mix. You know, like I said, rip them off of YouTube, SoundCloud, you know, it doesn't matter. Um, nobody will ever know, you know, if you really want to, you can load up some tracks, you know, and, um, just to make it seem like you're actually doing something. But like I said, it's all just, you know, it's all acting, you know, we're actors, you know, um, just pretend to turn knobs, you know, so, uh. We got that. And then what I'm about to get into um, is promoting yourself. Um, so, you know, we got platforms like, you know, Facebook, social, you know, um, <laughs> social media. Yeah, we got social media like Facebook, you know, Twitter, um, you know, Tinder and fucking, you know, you know, stuff like that. Um, you know, and promotion, self-promotion is key. Um, obviously, if you can get other people to do it for you uh, for free. You know that's even better um you know because we want to try to minimize the the workload um you know we're trying to make this as easy as possible um that light is buzzing hopefully that's not getting picked up. that's fucking annoying i just changed the light bulb in there and now it's buzzing fancy led fucking bulbs my ass anyways so yeah social media um, and like I said, that, that's all great. Um, but I have a little secret that I'm going to let you in on, um, in just a moment, as far as pro uh, promotion goes. So let's, uh, let's, let's fast forward. Let's get, let's get to it. <laughs> 
So, a little uh, a little tidbit, a little tidbit for you guys. Here's a little freebie, another freebie. Um, so, if you want to gain exposure, you know, um, obviously social media is good. It's great. You know, you got Facebook, you got Instagram, Tinder. You got all that, all that fun stuff. You know, make some, make some tweets. You know, that's that, that's all good. You know, to spread the word and you know promote yourself and whatnot. Um, but the uh, the all time best way, in my opinion, um, for exposure and promotion is to do it manually. So like the old fashioned way. Um, you know, back in the day, they didn't have fucking Facebook and social media. So what do you think people did? Well, the answer is they, they fucking drove around in their cars and screamed out the window like a bunch of fucking hooligans. Um, you know, you got to let the world know. Fucking scream it to the world. You know, let them know that you're a DJ. <laughs> that's, that, that's, the, that's a no-brainer. You know, just drive around, wait till you see people or you don't. You could just scream it, you know. Scream it loud, it's loud and proud, you know? Just find people walking on the side of the road, you know, and maybe you pull up next to a car and just, just tell them, hey, hey, I'm a DJ, you know? There's really no one walking around right now, I don't, I don't, I don't know. You know, you, you, you go to Moe's, let them know. Welcome to Moe's, hey, I'm a DJ, you know? Just fucking tell them, maybe they'll give you a discount. You probably get free shit, you know? I was like, you know, you gotta find people and let them know. Uh, hey, I'm a DJ! You know. It works. I mean, it's, it's, it's simple. You know, um, you know, it's, it's short, sweet, and to the point, you know, it's, I, I think in my opinion, you know, it portrays a uh, very powerful message, you know. Especially if you do it properly, you know, or you, you don't. There's there's no add-ons, you know. You don't gotta. You just gotta have a vehicle. I mean, drive around your skateboard. Fuck, drive around in your fucking you know kids' power wheels. It doesn't really matter. You can even walk and just scream at people. Hey, I'm a DJ. See, you know. You gotta do what you gotta do. You know, it's just it's <laughs> it's really, it's really nothing to it, you know. Or you get a megaphone, you know, stand in the bed of a pickup truck, or not, but, you know, make it a little louder, project your voice, you know, um, you know, climb up to the top of a tree, <coughs> Ugh, almost threw up, you know, you just gotta, you gotta find the right people, you know, and all it takes is that one person, like, oh, oh, hey, you're, oh, you're a DJ, oh my god, Oh, you know, they bow down, you know, oh, hey, man, you know, uh, yeah, I, you know, here, I'm, yeah, I got, this is my last, you know, 20 bucks, here you go, you're a DJ, you know, you're a pretty cool guy, you know, you're a swell fella, um, you know, uh, what else, you know, you know, if you, if you, know, you got a motorcycle, it really doesn't matter, you know, um, Climb on top of your house, you know, let the world know, tell your neighbors. Go, you know, you go door to door even. Um, oh, that, that looks kind of cool. It looks like I have like a video effect on there from the from the natural sunlight. See, that, that's what the thing about this. It's natural, you know. There's no bullshit, no ads, you know. You just straight up, you know, you, you, you tell people what it is, you know. It's like, like this. Hey, I'm a DJ. Hey, I'm a fucking DJ. Yeah. Alright guys, so that about wraps it up for this video. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, like I said, as long as you follow the guidelines and the rules and the regulations, you know, and the curriculum, stick to the curriculum. That's it. Just stick to the curriculum. And then, uh, yeah, you'll, you'll be fine. You'll, you'll be just fine. Um, yeah, I mean, that's really all there is to it. So, um, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you... Uh, Hulk smash that fucking thumbs up button and um, if you haven't done so yet maybe consider subscribing to my channel you know I got a, a lot of you know mediocre content so I uh, don't want to miss out on that so yeah <laughs> I'll see you guys next time <laughs> bye now no